I'm going to talk a little bit here about a process for dealing with hot issues in relationships. And the focus here is on really trying to remain in the present. And let me just back up and say that this whole discussion began with a conversation with someone um, who I've been working with for a while um, and a very uh, very much of a hot button issue for both her and her partner. So the first step is you have uh, upset and um, the upset in this case was her partner's feeling that he really didn't matter, that nobody really cared about his opinion. And a lot of history f around this, a lot of real reasons for him to feel that way in his life in general. But in this particular instance, the specific interaction with his wife, she was not particularly feeling that way at all. So the first stage in responding in this situation is what I call attunement, which means not only to be able to sort of um, say what the other person is thinking, but also to say it in a way that captures that feeling so the other person feels understood. And in this case, it was clear that skipping attunement, meaning the emotional issues and really connecting around those issues, almost immediately led to argument. So once, um, once the person I was working with was able to say to her partner, you know, it really sounds like what I've said connected with your feeling about not being recognized or, or valued or important. And he was able to say, yes, that, that's, that's really how I was feeling. Then there's a moment to pause and reflect on that and to share the positive sense of having come to an agreement about the emotional in issue. And then after that moment of shared awareness, you move on to problem solving. So it's not just enough to say, well, I understand how you're feeling. But in this case, um, the question was, is there anything that can be done to prevent this from happening again? Because it's been happening in their relationship quite a while. And it's pretty clear that whereas she may not be responding as well as she could, the issue is his bringing his own struggle around that question of meaning and value into the relationship. In this transition to problem solving, to figuring out, well, how could we have prevented this from happening? It's really important for the person who is sort of the um, recipient of this upset to watch for a critical voice, to recognize that whatever solution the other person proposes is probably not going to be quite right, but the idea of generating options or solutions is to try to get the person to move into a problem-solving mode. Uh, and if it's a really hot-button topic, then almost certainly there'll be some aspect of the conversation that will tend to make the person return to feeling upset, feeling not understood. Um, and so when that disconnection comes up, essentially you return briefly to attunement.